Now in the last section of breast cancer pathology, we will discuss prognostic and predictive factors for breast cancer. Prognostic and predictive factors means those factors that determine the prognosis of the patient when she gets diagnosed with breast cancer. So as there are a lot of these factors, I have classified into two subcategories. One is the extent of spread that determines how far the tumor has spread. And the second is the biology of the disease, which means that how does the tumor cells or how does the tumor tissue appear? What is its histology? What is its molecular characteristics? So let us discuss the extent of spread. So the first factor that determines the prognosis is that whether it is invasive carcinoma versus carcinoma in situ. Obviously, carcinoma in situ is a precancerous lien, it will have a better prognosis and invasive carcinomas have worse prognosis. Second thing is stage which is related to TNM, tumor size. So if the size of tumor is large, it will have a worse prognosis. Similarly, if the tumor is locally advanced, locally advanced means it is invading skin of the breast or chest wall, then again it will have a worse prognosis. If number of lymph nodes involved are more, for example, axillary lymph nodes are involved and if four or five lymph nodes, four or five group of lymph nodes are involved, then the prognosis will be worse as compared to if there are no involvement of lymph nodes. Similarly, if there is metastasis to distant organs like liver, lung, bone, brain, again, the prognosis will be poor. Third thing is lymphovascular invasion. So when you see the tumor on microscope and you see that the cells are invading the lymphatics or small vessels, then this lymphovascular invasion will determine that it has worse prognosis as compared to if there were no lymphovascular invasion. Fourth is inflammatory carcinoma. We discussed inflammatory carcinoma. It is called inflammatory carcinoma when the tumor cells invade the dermal lymphatics and this blockage of dermal lymphatics causes the breast to appear swollen and red. So if the inflammatory carcinoma is present, it has a worse prognosis among all breast cancers. Now let's discuss to the second category that is the biology of the disease. The first thing that matters is the histological type. We discussed several histological types in our morphology section. So the histological types that have a good prognosis are tubular, mucinous, lobular, papillary and adenoid cystic and remember those histological types that have bad prognosis they are metaplastic carcinoma and micropapillary. So just remember the names of these tumors with have, which have a bad prognosis metaplastic and micropapillary. Other thing that is related to the biology of disease is histological grade. So obviously if tumor is high grade or undifferentiated it has a worse prognosis. Third thing is ERPR status, estrogen receptor progesterone receptor status. So if the tumor is ER positive, then it will have a better prognosis as compared to ER negative. Because if it is ER positive, then it will respond to anti-estrogen drugs. And if the tumor is HER2, then it has a bad prognosis compared to those tumors that do not overexpress HER2 receptor. So HER2 is bad. Remember this important point. Last important point about the biology of the disease is RNA expression profiling. So obviously now the technology and biotechnology has been very advanced and we can do the RNA expression profiling of the tumor cells. This has growing role in the advancement of field of oncology. So RNA expression profiling can also be done to determine the prognosis of the breast cancer. So these are all the factors that determine prognosis of breast cancer.